Come on me this morning and we're going to be replacing a driver's side rear front trailing arm bush on a Ford S-Max. And the bush we're going to be replacing is this one here. It is quite a common fall and as you can see the bonding has broken away. Right let's get involved. Now before we go on bolting it off the chassis we need to remove a little brake pipe bracket, handbrake cables and they just screw on to the trailing arm. Now we've got it unbolted off the chassis, I've disconnected a few more components, there's a shock absorber, another arm. We have got enough room now, I've put my pry bar from the sill straight to the subframe to pull it down enough to get the tool in. But look at the state of that bush, literally just pulls out. And how we're going to remove this metal sleeve is get yourself an air chisel and literally chisel it out. Now before we install the new bush you need to make this insert here like brand new and get yourself some engine oil you know what i love this love this little car it's brilliant engine oil just makes everything slide nice and easy just don't take it on with you now we've got the brand new bush that's turned up now these will only go in one way and you do need the special tool to press them in see that little nipple there well that aligns to that little dimple there on the arm so you know it's going in the right place now that we've got the tool set up and everything is aligned perfectly, get yourself a 16mm on your ratchet and literally don't use power tools, just use a ratchet so it pulls in it gently. And there we go, that is the bush now, fully sent home. It doesn't look all the way in because it's not meant to be. That's why it's got this little leg here, or whatever you want to call it. Because that bush only needs to go in a certain distance. Anyway, let's get it all built back up. Well, before I put it all back together, I will just show you how far the bush has got to come through. And that is it. So it should look, if you've done it properly, it should just look exactly like that. And there you have it. That is one rear trailing arm front bush replacement on a Ford S-Max. Now, after you do replace these bushes, the car does need the geometry doing because it will be out. Now, I've got to carry on with some front discs and pads on this vehicle as well. But for now, let's get it sent. 